click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will discuss about how a monitor can be implemented using a semaphore, how the wait and signal function replaced by the mutex and next semaphore and how the condition variable is applied to that particular mutex semaphore. Monitor illustration can be exemplified with the help of a semaphore too. Now we will example for each monitor a semaphore mutex that is initialized to 1 is used. Now for entering the monitor the process must invoke the wait mutex operation and when leaving the monitor the process must invoke the signal mutex operation. Now as the signaling process have to wait until the current process that is in the monitor leaves or waits for it, then we are using an another semaphore next which is initialized to zero. Now the signaling process can suspend on themselves by the semaphore next. We are also using a variable known as next count which is actually counting the number of processes that are suspended themselves on the next. So we will see that how a general function that is external to a monitor is replaced by the following instructions. So here are the instructions. First to get on the monitor, we need to call the wet mutex operation. So after the wet mutex is performed, so after the wet mutex is performed, the body of F has been described. And after that, we have to check that the next count is greater than zero or not. That is, we are actually checking that is there any other process that had suspended themselves on next. If then, then we have to signal the processes by releasing the processes from the waiting queue and do a resume error execution by the signal next operation. And if there is no process that has suspended themselves on next, then we are signaling the mutex semaphore. Now in this way, we can also implement the condition variables that is attached to a monitor. Suppose a monitor has a condition variable x, then attached to it, we have two semaphores xm and one variable known as xm next count. Now using this two data structure, we can implement the condition variable attachment to a monitor. So we will now see that the how weight and signal functions of the monitor will be replaced. As we know that both x same and x count was first initialized to 0. So upon incrementing this x count function or variable value by 1, we are actually telling the operating system that in the monitor there is a condition variable and a process attached to it that has using this condition variable. So as we have already described, if the process is suspended on next, we will signal the next mutex, otherwise we will signal the mutex semaphore. Now we are waiting for the process using this wait operation with the smim that is attached to the condition variable. And after waiting for it, when it has performed its critical section on the monitor, then we are releasing this process resources by this x count minus minus that the process is now not attached with the condition variable x. Now we will see that how the signal operation invokes. So first, if the x count is greater than 0, that means any process that has been attached to the condition variable. So we are first increasing the next count that the process has suspended on the next semaphore. 
and now we are using the signal smm function to actually release the function that was waiting upon this wait smm function in the x dot wait Now the next process that is suspended itself on the next semaphore need to wait using this wait next function and after that when it has released the function then we were releasing it by the decrementing of next count. So in this way monitor can be implemented using the semaphore. However, the implementation of this generalization behavior is not accepted by some systems. And also the researchers say that there is significant room for improvement using this semaphore implementation of monitor. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.